What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about this new invisibility spell. You may have seen it in some uh, sneak peek videos by other YouTubers. Today I'm looking at one possible use of it that I immediately thought would be a cool idea, and it is definitely something. Using the new Royal Champion, that level 25 Royal Champion, um, with the invisibility spell, and she can take out a huge section of the base all by herself. This is going to be a very quick video, just giving you a few uh, quick ideas, not showing any full attacks here. You can see how much of the base was actually taken out. Um, the invis invisibility spell also makes it so she ignores heroes if they are also in that spell radius. Um, so she just focuses on defenses for the most part if you drop it in the right place and took out a solid like you know 20% of that uh, base on her own. Leads into a queen charge. Um, I'm not going to show the entire attacks to keep the video brief, but um, let's move on to the next one. All right, so in this next little mini attack here, using this technique on the same base, but on the opposite side, once again, it's gonna get some great value. Ice Golem first to tank a little bit, and then you can see the idea with the invisibility spell is you wanna drop it on your Royal Champion so it covers her, um, but doesn't cover the next defense for her to target. You can see the Wizard Tower went invisible right there because it also covered the Wizard Tower in addition to the Royal Champion. So it's a two-way spell, it covers um, defensive things as well as your attacking troops. So um, you want to make sure you don't drop it on the defense you want her to target. In this case I paired the rage spell um, in order to get even farther into the base. I like doing that because the rage can add a lot of damage to your royal champion's output, um, especially if she's going to be standing in it for a lot of different uh, buildings that she targets. Got all the way in there, got that single inferno taken out, sets up a nice queen charge, um, and then a hybrid was used on the rest of this. Once again, not going to show the full attack because I don't want to draw the focus away from the main technique of this video. Let's take a look at a different base. All right, so we got our next base queued up here, once again using the same uh, strategy. Five of these invisibility spells. Um, it's you know similar to maybe what you'd invest with a lightning uh, earthquake combo. You'd have to use a, a few more spells for that, depending on what you're trying to get down. But this is going to get you a lot more defenses, and it's going to be more spread out, not necessarily uh, the defenses all in one area like a lightning spell operation would require. Um, you do have to use your rogue champion, of course. Uh, in addition to the spells. But check this out. Um, she was targeting the king, went ahead and used the spell to put her and the king invisible. So she went ahead and retargeted over to that eagle. I went ahead and used the freeze to make sure that the uh, uh, royal champion didn't aggro onto the queen there. I was all out of invisibility spells. So one more spell, got the job done, was able to get a very nice little uh, royal champion walk uh, completed from the Inferno all the way over to the Eagle, setting up the Queen Charge on the other side, and then Hybrid in between. Let's take a look at uh, one more base. Alright, so this base was a little trickier to figure out how you could use it on um, and where to use it, because the Clan Castle, you know, can be tricky. You don't want to lure that out prematurely. Even with the Invisibility spell, sometimes uh, it'll caused the Royal Champion to target them in an odd way. Went ahead and used it up at the top of the base here. Got decent value, maybe not quite as much as on the other bases, but you'll see here, typical invisibility spell once again takes the Royal Champion off of the Queen, which is what we want in that case. Um, she immediately retargets. So that's one thing I really like, is it allows you to kind of bypass those defensive heroes, which are often used to like guard certain areas from the Royal Champion. Just use that, it takes her completely off of the defensive hero and gets her back on whatever defense you want. So here we got a little bit more value um, in those last few seconds as the expo went down. Uh, cleared out a solid part of the base, setting up uh, another possibility for queen charge here. Um, I think when I did this full attack it didn't end up going too well because the queen didn't go into the base. Um, these are definitely some solid bases we have on the dev build here. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this um, going to be a strategy that could be used potentially? You can see all the healers died to that clan castle wizard, which was kind of funny. Um, and the attack actually ended right here on this, uh, this uh, version of it. So that is it for the video. I'm looking forward to the update. ton of cool stuff in it, and I'll try to cover it as best I can. Just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, insight into one of my thoughts for how you could use this new spell. Make sure to enter that creator code as you'll be told in just a moment by the end screen. That's all from me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. 
If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.